Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how you can create a private server for World of Warcraft uh, for the patch 3.3.5a. Uh, so basically I'm going to make a three part series for this video so it won't take very long. Basically in the first part I'm going to teach you how you can create this private server uh, offline and it th the second part I'm going to teach you how you can make a great um, blaze like website for your private server and a blaze like forum for your private server and in the third part I'm going to make uh, your private server public so stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe before you begin so let's begin with the first part S you will make sure to have WinRAR and to download Navicat I will put the link into the description for Navicat you will need to make sure you have uh, drew this blizzard -like repack downloaded and you will need to make sure you have vmaps, memaps, dbc and maps downloaded first when you download Judas Blizz like uh, repack you will have to open it and after you do that you will need to extract it to the desktop I will not do that because I already did that it will take a lot of time for me and you will do the same for this for uh, files here after you done everything go to Judas Blizz like repack then go to core and you will need to make sure you uh, move these four folders into the core or else it won't work uh, after everything is done go to Judy's repack control click on run and you will need this will be uh, red for me red for you but it's green for me so I will tell you how you can make it uh, uh, green basically go to your blaze like folder your uh, Trinity Core folder then go to Core and just go to Core and it will make be green, it's red for me but it will be green for you it's green for me and it will be green for you uh, then go to Server MySQL Bin for the MySQL and for the Apache you want to do the same thing go to Judy's uh, Repack, uh, Server, Apache, Bin OK and you are ready to begin uh, now you want to go to your uh, World of Warcraft folder where you have it installed on your PC then go to NGB and go to Realmist and you will uh, make sure your Realmist is uh, 127.0.0.1 copy it or else it won't work after everything is done and everything is set up you want to start the MySQL server and you want to start the Navicat Premium uh, wait a little bit uh, go to trial I have still a trial account remind me later and I don't want to download anything now uh, I'm going to tell you how you can make uh, your own SQL server so I'm going to delay this one go to connection, MySQL, name your server anything you want, I will name my mine uh, like this uh, you will make sure your port is 3306 and the username is root your local host can be local host or it can be uh, like this uh, is the same and your password is this uh, it's here, it's located here uh, so I will type this password here uh, I will make sure it's localhost here and then I will click OK click OK and then I will enter this uh, and now what I want to do is to start the old file run it and start the world server I will move it here uh, by the side and now go to OAT go to account and as you can see uh, here are your accounts that you made uh, they were located by IDs 
so you can give this ID some permission, some GM level, uh, the highest GM level is free, uh, how you can create a new GM level permission, you have to go to new record and you type the ID that you find in the account, I already have one, so I don't want to put anything here, and you type uh, the ID first, and then you type the GM level, always put the GM level free, so it's the highest level, and basically you can ban some uh, user like this, go to account and you find the ID you want, and then you go to ban date, put the date you want to ban, and basically that's it, here you put the ban reason. Uh, now go to realm list and you want to change your realm list here, uh, I want to name it uh, excellent wow, wow. Uh, and so basically your realm is changed and now we want to create a uh, account click account account create uh, now you type the account name and now you type the account password and click enter and the account is successfully created uh, you can find your account by going here and going here uh, or maybe you have just to reload this click on save click close, don't want to save now and go back to navigate premium click on trial go to Xlantech, go to out, go to tables, go to account and you will see test is here and you have a new ID that I told you so you can give uh, some new permission or you can ban some users uh, so basically uh, you made the private server now uh, the only thing you will make sure is to run the game and click run and then I will type the the username is test and the password is test and as you can see I entered the uh, the word. Now I want to create a new character. I will name my character Bahira because I'm a fan of Bahira, the best warrior ever. Mine is a mage, but still his name is Bahira. Uh, and if you are a GM, you will need to download this uh, add-ons, Trinity Admin and Trinity GM Helper. It will help you a lot if you are still uh, a noob in uh, if you are still noob in uh, how can I tell you this if you are still noob in uh, admin in admin yeah in admin I don't have uh, I don't know how to tell you this if you don't know how to use some uh, GM level codes for the admin you will make sure you download these two add-ons that I showed you and now click uh, I want to close this and I want to show you uh, and now I want to show you the world basically uh, every quest here is almost working not every quest but it's working everything fine go to here and accept the quest and accept everything is working fine as you can see here is my GM uh, add-on uh, you can find it on course Wolf or something on the some, some different uh, website uh, how you can open the GM uh, permission just type uh, point GM on or not or yes it is I typed something different uh, oh my god I forgot to give me some GM permission uh, but basically you do it like I showed you and how you and now I will tell you how you can uh, give you some permission it will work 100% uh, you can uh, make it you can give some permission here in the oath then account access that I already show you but you can give some permission here 
type set account uh, and then you type uh, your username test and the GM level be level 3 and you type uh, negative 1 or account set test GM level 3 negative 1 oh my god I forgot how to do this so basically I will tell you how to do how to do it here type the plus and type the ID 2 that's our ID here and type the GM level 3 and you want to exit this click on save and exit and then go to na navigate again go to navigate again go to trial and basically you made a GM account with the highest permission uh, you can see it here and basically we are done for the first part uh, I will put the 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 codes for this into the description I will uh, put the right code for the GM level into the description so you don't need to try to find it somewhere else and basically that's it for this tutorial so Bye guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.